Welcome back everybody, this is Del and this is my Endless Legend Necrophages playthrough on the Shifters expansion. So things that were happening, winter's gonna come real fast here. Uh, we just pounded the necroph the other necrophages, not me, into the dust. Uh, we should probably make a truce with them at this point and start fixing our economy slightly. Once we get all the right of ways set up, we should be okay, I think. The problem is getting them there. We do have some, not all. Like this one, we need this one to done. We need this one to get done. You know, we got a few units being made right now. We're getting this one. We'll get its altar of Origa, or chapel of Origa done, sorry. We need to get that basically everywhere that has more than one village. You know, everywhere that has a couple villages would be a good idea. We have a Silix village built there that I forgot about. These guys need one here. So we need to find a few more pearls. Is one thing we need to do. Let's look on feeds on bones here. What are you using? Just tier two ring. Let's grab you your free counter in that. And then let's go here for Caris. And we'll grab you your improved movement as well. Yep. And we'll take the foragers and they will go that way. Any foragers? Nope. Okay, you guys can just go over here and garrison said city. For the time being. We're going to give you a necrodrone into here. So everybody, so they both got two necrodrones and we're going to go play around with them. Basically, I want the movement from them. There's some Nidia. Okay, so we got Lust for Loot going there. That's a long ways around. That's even a longer ways around. Um, let's look and see if we see any pearls right now on the map here. Uh, city names getting in the way. There's a couple here and there. Not too many. I think we already got all of them. Oh no, there's some right there. Okay. Well, you guys can go grab those then. And we're going to go start maybe stomping on Green's neck. And oh, Red is right on the other side of him there. So, we can go look and see how that's going to go. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked at the status screen in a while. So let's see what this look all looks like. Uh, as far as overall score, we're kind of middle of the road picking up a little bit. Military might, we're looking real good. Uh, expansion we just jumped way up to population yep research we're kind of poor not too terrible food eh, we're necrophages we don't use we don't need no food dust is looking okay yep and uh, um over the rest of it like our empire approval is kind of tanking right now because we have uh villages that are getting still sorry cities that are still coming up on ownership and being all pissed off about that but for these guys let's go do some rune search in here we get a break wall six defense 20 defense 10 percent initiative huh not a terrible item that's for sure I think I do want to negotiate peace with this guy right now though Mostly for all his technologies. Really? He's actually trusting of us, huh? And you're mildly jealous, but you don't think that your armies are quite so superior anymore. So that's good. Um, we do have a proliferator somewhere here. That we should probably be getting out and about into the world now. Where were you? There it is. Yep. And you can kind of meander over this way. Little slimy guy. And I think we're going to leave you in there for now. Just to uh, bolster our people. Do you want to 
little sucks in this unit turn, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, okay, so there's four influence on training with anomaly for nine turns. That should be interesting, because look at that influence go. Let's see what he still wants to do now. He's only wearing to go for 66. Oh, he only has 66, my bad. Okay. Will you give us all your dust? You give us 20? Well, not 2021. You give us 20? Okay, let's see how much you'll give us here. We can get about 50 dust out of him, too, if we wanted to. Yeah, I think that's worth it. We'll get all his techs. And yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, that's right. You can't true scanny. That's right. Duh. I forgot about that. Duh. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? So let's take a peek at your armies. Your marines are... Uh, not too good, I must say. So I don't feel much threat from them. Good. Let's go check out what we got up here. Okay. That's one turn of that. Next one's gonna be 25 spices. Uh, first thing I want to do... How much do I need to activate? 30? Okay. Well, that's not gonna happen anytime soon, I guess. We do have some gold coming, but it's coming fairly slow. Let's search that. Mm -hmm. Okay, defeat the Avenging Army. Okay. Yay, Avenging Army be defeated. Okay. We get 20 grass soap for that. That's fine. You guys can come down here and grab those. I'm going to start looking this way a bit. He does have a hero with him, and it's a semi-decent hero. I think we want to wait for this guy to catch up to our army, though, before we do a whole lot more with it. We can go search this room, though. The Vengeance of Koruk. Scepter. Wow. Can you actually use that even? could give you this instead. What would that do for your... Brings your defense and your damage down a little bit, but... If we did that and then gave you a... Titanium Sword... It's not too bad. Get your Sharp Sense, Block, all that good stuff. But I think we're just gonna keep that with uh, what you had for now. Okay. And now that you looted his runes, let's go ahead and meander on back down this way. Uh, you had another one of these guys out. Let's have you head on over this way too. Roads are going to help a lot once we get him in here, just to uh, clean up the time it takes to get across our empire at this point. Okay. Meritocratic promotion is done. So we can get a lot of more stuff there. Oh, okay, so you've declared closed borders on us, that's fine. You're scared, is probably why. Oh, you're unafraid, huh? You think that your armies are strong again. Okay, that's nice to know. Let's look at the status screen and see what it says. It says my armies are a bit bigger than yours. Uh oh. Quite a bit bigger than yours, actually. So that's good to know. Let's go wipe out uh, this dude first, though.
Yeah, we can just kind of have everybody meet up down that way. Why don't you pick up that proliferator? And then come on down this way. You can come on down that way too. Now, why don't you produce your right away first? Because we're going to need the dust to come here fairly fast. Okay, you're going to get that done. You're getting that done slowly. Uh, right away, 178 for the Empire Mint. And 100, yeah, let's just get both of them going right now. We really need the science and everything that's going to get for us. And you guys are building basically a full army here, which is fine. Who else had more than one village? You guys did. Let's get the chapel there for you guys, too. Like that. Yep. Everybody's working on their right -aways. We have six turns for our next Empire plan. We have a lot of influence to get when we get there, though, so that's fine. Uh, go pick up that pearl, please. And then we will join you guys all up at some point down here. You guys can come down here and pick up that guy. Okay. We are happily working on things. Question being now. Let's just keep saving our dust so when we do get the market we can just hire some heroes. We need to get some city governors working. We have no city governors. And we have one, two, three, four, five cities now. So we really need to get working on that. We're about to get our sixth city once we kill this guy. You know, we can we can stop by and say hi to these guys, why not? Hi Silix, how's it going? Can we get some free experience from you? Thanks. Can't quite get down to siege him just yet. He's only got like three units down here, so there's not much he can do about it. Keep on moving on down. I try to be manually battling with this army just so that I can make sure that there's proper use of the proliferator there. Yeah, let's siege that joint up. And you guys can come along the other side. And we uh, found the Ursus. Oh, and there's a cultist buddy over here. Okay. Well, that guy needs to be stopped, like, right now. Would be... Yeah, this is just going to have to go down. Uh, he's got one Necrodrone, two Militia. We're going to manual it, though. Um, just so that I can try and use this proliferator a little better. Something like that should be okay. I 
know is exactly what I wanted to do if I was correct in what I'm trying to do there. Mm -hmm. That should be fine too. That. Yeah. Okay. Go, go, go. disease immunity. Probably why I can't do it to them. Okay. Whoopsie. Okay, but it's mine now, so it doesn't matter. The city is ours. Okay, dismiss that. We got some free stuff. We got another city. Empire Man Mill Foundry Pray first. Let's get you right away up at some point too. Sewer system, public library. Glass steel extractor there. What else do we need here? God, this place was, was shit, wasn't it? It didn't have nothing. Um, and the Dorgesi village there, and that looks like about all you have. Okay, let's get you off science and produce the, as much as you possibly can before winter rolls around. Yep, Necrodrone leveled up, great, and we can assim assimilate the Dorgeshi if we wanted to, which we really don't, so that's fine. And Karis. You need to come on down here after you're done there, I guess. Oops, not there. Go here or something. You guys um, should probably just go start taking care of cultists at this point. We do have roads over to here. Kind of, sort of, roads. Uh, let's look at uh, where's that trade routes none yet okay there you go there's our trade routes nothing at this point that's fine we do have some food stockpiles so let's see who's got the lowest population you do and who else let's go ahead and give you one okay Okay, and now it's winter, and yep, you got defeated, more necrodrones are being produced, okay, legendary deed, master of Marcus from the Draken, okay, uh-huh, failed to complete that quest, okay, now, What else can we do here? So this is for towers, two vision, ten fortification. Basically. And more retaliation damage from them. Immunity to winter vision penalties. Uh, stockpiles for pearls from pearls. Weapons from pearls. Accessories from pearls. Uh, two times research on a strategic resource. Hmm. What else we got here? Retaliation damage for fortification on city. More defensive stuff. That'd be kind of nice. Ice works. Oh, okay. So you could build a winter burrow. Or. Okay, so let's see here what we need, what we have. 
We have a couple cities that are founded right next to Anomaly, so it would greatly benefit from that district, isn't it? Yeah. We know that. We know that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's go back to the altar here and look at that. So I think we're going to go with the uh, Anomaly one. Build on Anomalies. Okay, so we need 20 pearls. We only have 3. So that's the thing. Do we see any pearls here? We see a couple. There's one there. There's some up there. Okay, well, you guys can grab that one probably. On your way by. Yoink. Yoink. got me some pearls we're gonna get our mercenary market next turn so hopefully we can find a good hero oh I didn't want to do that whoops okay yep we got re right away installed now okay so now we're coming up uh, with basically 14 gold 14 deaths and 14 science because we finally finished the right away that's good uh, our empire approval is terrible right now because we have these guys need to be assimilated faster. Some of these other ones are finally getting done. Well, this one's almost done. Uh, what do we want to build here now? Grove Street? Probably not. Because uh, you're already unhappy. probably just have you do something like this like that for now and we'll move you over to a bit more dust production because we're going to need it so we'd like to get some heroes that are going to help us out with some of this stuff you sir are going to build a proliferator and then a burrow street which is probably actually fine let's get more dust though please and over here you are fine you are fine uh yeah, you need all the production you can get. And then our capital. Let's go ahead and have about that many people go to dust. And we could build the Chapel of Orga here, but we only have one village there, so I don't think I want to do that yet. I think we'll just take these guys and kind of wander around and find pearls. And try and get that blessing in. guys let's actually spectate this one and see if it actually does the thing with the proliferator I'm kind of curious to see how it turns out here okay so they did get the parasites on them We get a couple battleborns. Yay! <laughs> so, free troops! Yay! Which makes that army's all filled out. <laughs> Away we go. And they kind of have crappy movement though, so we're just going to pop them out into their own army, I believe. Might be the best way to go. And we'll let you guys continue on your merry way uh, killing things then. But that way we can just kind of meander them this way and start uh, really dipping into the cultists over here. Be 
you guys. Uh, where do you want to go now? Well, considering you can't move anymore, this turn probably nowhere. Right aways are coming up nicely in various places. We got a little bit of money now, so we can start looking at heroes. These guys are okay, I think, at, uh, yeah, for this. They're really good if you want to mass expand. Um, they're pretty good for that. They also have defense, health, regen, negative 50% upkeep. And then at winter, they get 20% attack, immunity, winter, vision, and movement penalties. Range, battle movement, all that good stuff. Their tree is a little bit iffy. It's okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. You get range, more range, more stuff. Uh, this is uh, pretty good, though. Pathfinder's pretty nice. Bride cost reduction, huh? That's an interesting one. And then you can come up here and get this pearl reduction for building things in city. But they don't really have anything for city governing besides just going up your center tree. So they're not the best city governors. I would like a cultist hero, but that's not going to happen. So we need to look at the... Maybe that one would be good. Uh, he does have food boost too. Apparently feeds on bones. Really is uh, popular these days. Uh, <laughs> he's got a lot of them. I think I do like the lore master here. They do have great food stuff and other, basically everything you want for getting a new city. You get approval up here. You get some influence here. You get some food here with river. But food boost is really nice. Four food for a level and one percent food for a level. So that's not bad. So I think we'll go for the lore master. Or or we can grab a wild walkers one, which would be production basically. Production, 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 more production. We need more production. Um and he does have food boost too as well. As well as industry boost three. Yeah, we need to go for this guy here. So how much is he? 615. Okay. We can get that in a couple turns here if we just kind of maneuver population around a bit, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and put one more there. We'll do two more there. Take a couple of you guys over there. Maybe a couple of you guys over there. Yeah. That should be fine. Oh, and we need research. Would you like to research something, sir? Okay, we're almost in the air through. We've got a couple more techs to get it. Uh, what else do we need from here? Anything? I think we're okay there. We could get Octopolistics at some point. Uh, Asia Science is okay. Commanding God's okay. Cannon fodder would probably be good at this point. We got 64 from our military upkeep and 40 from our hero upkeep. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of dust if we get that. So that'll work fine. So we'll see how this all pans out. Was it White Shul here that had the three cities? Yeah, you need the chapel. Okay, you're building it. That's fine. Okay, hero, somebody leveled up. Malicious, okay. Look at this cute little guy coming over to say hi. How's it going, buddy? Basically, we're going to use these battle boards as go get me more pearls and uh, wander around and kill things. I guess it's going to be the way it works. <laughs> what is this? Weaver worms. Oh, I thought they were like a thing left by my uh, proliferators or something. I was like, what is that nonsense? Is that a thing? Okay. There is the cultist. 
20 gold. Yup. Now we're getting a negative 50% upkeep costs on our cities. Bring our coinage way, way up. That's just fine. Um, I think we need to come down here and start doing damage to the cultists. And uh, not necessarily... Well, we'll see once we get out of winter. It'll probably be a little bit easier to tell. Okay, we got two now here. Yep, pop them out. Go join up with those guys. You guys can go grab these things. right there, isn't it? That's fine. Uh, we really don't need that forager right now, though. Uh, let's get the burrow street first. And then we'll go ahead and build a chapel here, too. Why not? It's one more population. It's not like it's a lot, but it's better than nothing. Militia leveled up, and we need an empire plan. What do we want? Attack on units? We have lots of influence to think about this here. Uh, building production costs. I think we want to go with the uh, happiness here. And then, can we get our... We can get that too. Need another one? We could get another one. We could get up to level 2 on one of them, but we'll go with that. I think that's good. That'll keep us a light, nice level of dust. As well as this here gets us... Uh, where is it? No, 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 no. Um, I wish they'd uh, align all the Empire Plan stuff together. But anyways, uh, plan there. There it is. Two vision on units and 25 happiness on city. So that's actually not a bad deal. Get We can see more pearls. We can get more pearls. We can actually do some things with the pearls probably. Um, we should be looking at another blessing now. Wolfbane the Shepherd! Command staff can't use that. Uh, but if we get a hero that can, might be awesome. Uh, so we can unlock this thing. Yep. So it does cost 10 pearls to build. But it is fantastic. And this is our lust for loot room. That's why I was coming up here. I knew there was a reason. Um. Yep. Yeah, you guys are kind of out of your uh, realm there. And it's a bunch of preachers. Okay, yeah. Um, would you like to go take care of them, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they retreated. That's fine. Kind of figured they would. Let's go ahead and work on boxing them in a bit. Go down here and search this. Okay, explore two temple rooms before the end of winter. I think we can manage that, maybe. Are these temple runes? No, those are unspoiled runes. So, we're going to go get and get rid of them cultists and get some more free units from them, probably. We'll just kind of keep an eye on you guys. How's it going? How you, how you doing there, buddy? Uh, our empire approval value went way up to the content, and so we're not losing things as well now. And these guys will be assimilated quicker. Fairly quickly here. Okay, there goes that. Okay, we got two more right -aways done. So let's look at this now. Now we're getting 65. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at all the trade routes. Yeah, that's a lot better. I knew them things would be good. And we can actually move through our territory at a fairly decent pace too, which is even better. Yeah, your mill foundry will be done fairly soon. We can spend 20 on that. Let's go to the mercenary market here. Can we get this hero? Where'd he go? Is he not busy there still? Okay, we need 10 dust. Eh. Let's go ahead and just sell the stuff for that. There we go. Yep, we can sell that, and we can sell a little bit of that. There we go. This was the guy with the food boost and the industry boost and everything. Yep, let's hire you. 
And let's go to our capital here. And we'll sign you here. You buddy. Yep. And you're level one still, so that's fine. But you'll get... Uh, let's go ahead and build you. Let's go here for a second. This is the ghetto militia, in case you didn't know. And my eye key is being funny on my keyboard, is why I'm double typing eyes. But what these guys are going to have is a, is no shield. No. <laughs> They're just going to have a... Tier 1 axe and a tier 1 shield. They do cost 108. But what they're... A, what their purpose is, is if we go to build them here, they only take like two turns to build. And we can have like five of them here, right? Yeah, we can have five of them here. One thing they do, they pad our military strength so that the AI thinks we're stronger than we really are. Let's put, that. Let's put the groceries back where they go. Um, other things they do, they make this guy level faster. Having these guys in the city makes them level faster, so that's good. And I think that's going to do it for this one. We'll finish this turn out, but after that we're going to go. So let's grab this uh, Lust for Loot Ruin here. We get 25 spices. We're going to grab 26 silver, quick silver, at the next rune. We get 50 dust from there. That's fantastic. We'll go with that. There's that army, and where do we need to go now? Where was the next room? Ah, we still need to finish doing this. Um, you know what we could do? What, Brooklyn? You can wait a minute. Let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, go say hi to his cultists again. Yep. This auto battle, if he tries to flee again, he'll get... Uh, destroyed anyways. We got another battle born out of that one. That's fine. And Karis got to level 4. So we can finish that. And that gets our uh, our next level here. Search the unspoiled runes in the region called Zivor. And we get a fungal lab. One copy in your empire and you have to be the, he has to be the city governor. Well that's probably not going to happen. But it's okay. Where is this region that we're looking at? It's way up here in Zivor. That one there. So, what we're going to do is, uh, you got it, bud. Well, no. Yeah. Let's, uh, take you. New army. Hey, look. I'm up here. Does he have to search it? I don't know. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Where's the... Let's look at the quest again real fast here. Trying to finish this out real fast. Uh, there it is. Okay, so yeah, he does have to be assigned to the army. That's fine, so we can just do this. Uh, Karis, you're coming with me. Yep, go there and search this and finish that quest. Okay. Fourth part. Uh, assigned to Tan Elm and to build a fungal lab there. Okay. So Chris has a couple turns before he can do that. What are these? What is this nonsense? Why do we have Marines and Titans here? What is this nonsense? Those mercs or something? Anyways, we will get you need to go. Where do you need to go? You need to head out this way somewhere, I guess. Where is those? Where's the next rooms we need to head out for? I think it's one of these two, maybe. Maybe. Not sure. Yes, I know my city got under siege. Uh-huh. Yep, and I know we did that. And then we finished it in the next turn. Yeah, that guy got leveled up. Three more movements here. Well, we'll leave you there. Like, um... Nope, you need to go... Go on your own, buddy. Why don't you go meet some cultists or something?
Looks like you happen to be nearest, so... Oh, you can't attack anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out in a minute here. Who else needs to move? Well, you guys need to come up here and take care of this problem. Would be handy. Yeah. Just kill him, please. I'm not sure where he came from. I think that was the uh, quest or something there. Might as well just come up and make him an army. Okay, you are good. We're flying around collecting more pearls. Oh, there's some. Okay. Now, in our city of Tenelm here, after the ghetto militia, we really need to do the Abbey of Anomalies. We can put it there, 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 and there. So first off, let's look at our current layout here. Yeah, we're just gonna go up here like this with it, I believe. That's a exploitation. But now, what exactly does it give us here? Let's look. It gives us times two of everything on that tile. So in this case, it's gonna be worth six production, one dust, one food. Ooh. Same here. We're gonna get just tons of stuff from all that. Probably there is going to be our best bet. But let's do it here because that will also level up our, our uh, altar. It takes a while to build. It's quite expensive. Um, let's take off the chapel for now. Hey. Thank you. Take off the chapel and drag it. And we're going to call that one good. So at that point, we'll see you next time around. Have a good one.